Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to What's Up Monday. It is April 5th. Hopefully you had a super awesome Easter. Got in some fun things. I got to go to the dog park with Yuki and she ran around for hours. It was pretty awesome. We're going to be talking about doing some projects and maybe having you guys join us one weekend at the dog park. That would be pretty cool. All right, we are three weeks away from belt testing, counting down, getting closer and closer. So you wanna make sure that you do have your stripes in place and are on track, especially we have some people on, uh, um, what is it, midwinter, not midwinter break, but their break, uh, spring break, thank you, spring break. Uh, this week, some people were on it last week, some people are on it next week, it's spread out all over the place. Regardless of whenever your break is, make sure that you are on track for belt testing because one of the important things to understand is there's absolutely nothing wrong with going on vacation, but the world doesn't stop just because you went on vacation. So make sure you get caught back up, learn what you missed, make up some extra classes if you need those, and be ready to be successful at your belt testing. Our story. I've discovered you guys like stories. So this week's story is the two gardeners. Let's see if I can give this one justice. There are two gardeners that went and bought a plant to put out in their garden. The first gardener was meticulous about everything with the plant. You know, they put it in the ground, they made sure it had the best soil, they made sure that it had the best water, the best sunshine, they made sure that the, the leaves grew a specific way, uh, they made sure that they turned it anytime that it needed something special, you know, towards the light, and they just basically catered everything they could to the plant. The other gardener, gardener number two, basically planted the plant, gave it some water, made sure it had enough sunlight, and just left it alone. Well, one night, a big storm came in. There was tons of wind, you know, there's lots of rain, and the second gardener, the one who had left their plant alone, went out in the morning to check on the plant, and it was just fine. It was able, since it was uh, it, it basically adapted and grown to the environment. So it was able to develop deep roots and strong leaves, and so it was perfectly okay through the storm. The first gardener went out the next morning and found that the plant had fallen over and was laying on the ground and was completely torn out of the ground. Because the first gardener had taken care of everything for the plant, it wasn't able to establish deep roots. It wasn't able to handle the storm on its own. Moral of the story. Parents, let your children become independent. Independence is a super strong thing that is going to serve them forever. And while it makes you feel good to take care of your child, it is not in their best interest. Two gardeners. All right, same in the comments. Let me know. Are you gardener number one or are you gardener number two? Okay. So what we have now, also this week, we're going to be working in leadership training. Leadership training, we're introducing chess theory. So we're going to start showing you how chess and martial arts combine together. So we're going to be working on different footwork drills. Uh, I gave you the homework last, le uh, last week in the leadership Facebook group. Make sure you record your videos and do your homework. We'll be talking about that tonight in class. We'll be continuing with our secrets of the millionaire mind. So last week I gave you two. We're going to cover the next two or three items of that series as well, making sure that you are implementing each of those success secrets into your daily routine, weekly routines, and so on. Little Dragons this week. Little Dragons are going to be working on balance. Oh, I love this week. So we're going to be doing lots of hopping, lots of jumping. Their test is going to be standing on one leg, throwing front kicks. It's five kicks per belt color. This is one of the times the kids really struggle. If they don't practice this, they're going to have a hard time once they start getting up to green and purple belt when they have to do 20, 25, or more kicks. So make sure you're practicing with your dragon doing single leg kicks. There is no hopping. There is no jumping. There is no, uh, they can stop, but their knee has to stay up in chamber. So their foot cannot touch the ground for balance. Kids karate. Week, oh man, it's week six. So we're doing blue stripe number three. Here's your challenge. Tie your belt. All right, I'm seeing way too many parents tying your child's belt. Goes back to the two gardeners. Teach your child to be independent. So, some of you are gonna be super easy with this because you've been tying your own belt for a while. Be creative. I want you to shoot a video of you tying your belt in the most creative way you can think. Maybe you're blindfolded, right? Maybe you're standing on one leg. Maybe you're tying it while running in place or running in circles, who knows? 
I want you to be creative and show me how you can tie your own belt. Uh, record that, put it up in the Facebook group. That will be blue stripe number three this week for the kids. And there you have it. That's what's going on this week at the karate school. So again, three weeks still belt testing. Uh, there are still issues, parents, with uh, getting items. There are shipping crates that are still stuck in California, which have all of the items that our vendor sells. So there's, there's a lot of things that they still do not have stock of. Belts is going to be one of them. So uh, start planning ahead. Remember, you need to order your child's belt. You might want to get an order in now to make sure uh, that you have it on time. If you, if you ordered two or three belts from the last time and you're ahead, then you are all set. But we'll be continuing to talk about that. Make sure, two gardeners in the comments. Are you gardener number one or gardener number two? Right, Making sure that your child, children are independent. Leadership training, chess theory. We're going to start talking about chess and martial arts. Little dragons working on balance. Kids karate working on tying your own belts in a super fun and creative way. Have fun with it. Right? So it's an important skill to have, but it doesn't mean that it has to be yucky and boring. Make it fun. There you have it. I will talk to you guys soon, and we'll see you in class. Bye, everybody.